All right, we should be on now. Hey, wow, wow, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I looked up, I'm like, ah, uh, it's live. Uh, it's live. You just told me we were going live, but now it's live. So we're like, oh, it's three minutes away. Yeah, yeah, because I was trying to get ready for this wedding, which, let me see if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this. Hold on. Yeah. See if you can see the, can you see the, the kilt? Yes. Let's see if I can do that. And there it is, the kilt. The kilt. I can't raise too high, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a family show. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and not that family. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll have to see how uh, how this sounds as soon as it starts. Yeah, true. But, of course, we're just looking for visuals. So you said you were able to link up your phone to play uh, Moon Patrol on the television. Right? Yeah. Uh, and you said, how'd that go? Um. I mean, it looked fine. It was a little laggy, but I, I don't know. I, I so got to try say, it again. So when you say laggy, do you mean like? Like when I hit like, shoot, it shoots like about a second later. <clears throat> so the jumping is next to impossible. Uh, well, of course, with that attitude. <laughs> but I, don't, I don't know if it's always like that. I got to try it again. We'll see. Well, I, yeah, and I hope I can figure it out. <clears throat> You know, Logan's trying to get me also to hook up with Hades this uh, weekend. Man, everyone loves Hades. That's what I hear. It's a hell of a game. <laughs> well played. Well played. Only a minute away. That's a thinking man. So I played a crap ton of cornhole yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah, speaking of the Amico and cornhole. Which is right up there on the top row. Uh, <clears throat> next to breakout. On the right. So look at that. I didn't even know I had it. But uh, yeah, I ended up sinking four in one round. Jeez. To win the game. Not the ready to go pro. Uh, you know, I don't know about that. Everything else I had, <laughs> I kind of crapped the bed. <laughs> you crapped that the board hole. That was my shining moment yesterday. But, yeah, no, we had a great time celebrating. Hey, Alpha, Alpha 82. I love that name. That's cool. That's cool. I was almost done with high school. Mm. That was uh, the year I graduated from grade school and started high school. <laughs> yeah, because you went all the way through middle school, whereas I, <clears throat> I went K through 6. Six and then went to another building for seven, eight, yeah. and then another building for high school. Yeah, I went kindergarten through eighth, all in the same school. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Junior high is a crazy thing in my town. Ooh, we're ready. Is it happening? I got to go full screen here. Full screen. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay. I won't even get into the silly question again. What are we speculating? So we've talked about it a million times, yeah. but there, there's really, my favorite. I'm really curious if uh, Breakout is going to be the demo. I mean, he said it was, but the last time he talked about it, he didn't mention Breakout. Yeah. Maybe we'll get two demos today because it's 10 10. I know you're ready. I remembered. I remembered. On the left, second row down, Nitro Derby. Nitro Derby. That's a hard one to remember. I don't know why. Because <clears throat> nitro is a nitro is a throwback word. Yeah, I don't know why it's so hard to remember. To me, you know, turbo is more the word I think of, even though that's a throwback word because we just we're looking at the controllers where they were turbo. Turbo. I don't know why I have to say turbo. I don't know why turbo. I have to say it like that. Turbo. All right, they're a minute late. What's going on? I don't know, dude. What is up with that? <clears throat> Come on. We need to know. Yeah, I wonder how many new games we're going to see today. <clears throat> yeah, oh, hey, thanks for reminding me. I should have a piece of paper or something so I can take notes. Oh, that's a good idea. 
I'm not a good one, but I am a note taker. <clears throat> ah, you're nothing but the no good note taker. <laughs> one of those types. One of those guys. <laughs> See, notepad. Easily found. A pen. Easily found. Ideas, not so easily found. But All still right. welcome when they happen. Ooh, I'm, I gotta move this thing. It's like rocking me back and forth. Woo. What time do you have to leave for the wedding? Oh, later. That's so crazy. They haven't said how long this is gonna be. That's what she said. <laughs> oh. Wait for it. <clears throat> so, you know, the one that I thought was skiing, is that skiing? Is that a person in the middle skiing off of that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <clears throat> it looks like he's getting ready to jump off that cliff there. Yeah. To his death. <laughs> Speaking of evil, can evil. <laughs> Maybe for oh, multiplayer man. and skiing, they can have snipers set up. Yeah, which reminds me, I don't know why the second Bill and Ted movie didn't have Evil Knievel on it. I mean, he cheated death like how many times? You, you, you know what? I watched the first Bill and Ted movie for the first time two weeks ago. You didn't? We we watched it like two weeks ago. Uh, I saw it was free on, on uh, YouTube. I was like, you know what? I've never seen this movie. And you loved it. I really liked it. I was surprised because yeah. I... When it originally came out, it didn't look very good to me, so I never watched it. Oh, man. Never paid attention to it. And you know who uh, Joan of Arc was, right? Uh, uh, yeah, from the Go-Go's. Um, yeah. What's her name? Jane Wideland. Yes. Or Weedland, whatever, however you say it. Or Janny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just know her as that. <laughs> That's what she told me to call her. That'd be great if you had someone who had a plain first name, a common first name. And a really hard to pronounce last name. You got the first, you nailed the last name, but you completely screwed up the first name. Janae? What? <laughs> what? How do you say that? I mean, I got the mixel plick, but I don't know about what's that? J A N E. It's really throwing me. Really throwing me. Uh, which reminds me, I'm going to grab it right up here. Yeah. Bill and Ted. So I got to play this uh, before we do Wednesday's show. And I have not seen the second one. Yeah, the second one was. Eh. It had, uh, what's his name? He's in the new one too, I guess. Is the new one out already? Yeah, it's out. You can uh, you can watch it on, I think, Amazon, and you can, uh, you know, you just pay for it. And I think it's like 20 bucks to watch it. Hmm. I just watched a review the same day, you know, the other day when I was doing talking about the Star Wars one that the guy did on the Rise of Skywalker, which was obviously called, should have been called the Doom of Skywalker or the incineration of Skywalker or the took a piss on Skywalker. <laughs> um, totally shat the bed Skywalker. Um, any of the above and any of the other ones you can think of. There would be E. That would be it. <laughs> a, B or C or D, all of the above or E, all of the above and anything else you can add. Um. But there was one about the new Mulan. Talking about what Live a piece action? of yeah, what a piece of crap that was. Evidently, they made her into a real Mary Sue. And there's no dragon. There's no Mushu. There's no cricket. Hmm. So I mean, why? Why am I even watching it? And there's no 
There's no uh, Donny Osmond character, and they don't do any of the music. There's no songs. No songs. So let's just strip every charming thing about a Disney <laughs> film. Was Mulan? Well, why, don't, why don't they just practice and take all the music out of Beauty and the Beast? That's very strange. That's very strange. Hey, why hasn't this started yet? I don't know. It's tripping me out. Not that badly, but I mean, still. It's disconcerting. Should I, you know what? Should I? Uh, My mom just uh, said that Tommy is on OEB Pete's show right now. Why is he on there when he should be on here? He should be yeah. on the show right now. Hello? Just talking to him? Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. He needs to get over here and start his uh, stream. Here we are waiting. I know. We ought to just get on Pete's show and just start messaging. <laughs> yeah. Could you please go back to your live show and start? Anything wrong with that? I'm going to go there. Hold on. Let me let you go here. I might cursor's not working. All right. Bye. I'm going to go there and see what's going on. My cursor stopped working. What the heck? Pre-show reaction to the Amico. I'm wondering if it's his, I'm wondering if it's his um, internet connection. Yeah. Oh, they're having a problem with the connection to the show? Yeah, yeah I guess so. Ah, okay. <laughs> Well, that stinks. Uh. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Oh. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't have to drop the, you don't have to drop the stream. It's not working. It's just it may be. So I guess they're doing a pre-show and he's having <laughs> tech problems. Will this happen today? Lady? This is hilarious. Way too much um, resolution all the way. Let's see what's going on. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, in OBS it will? Stop streaming in OBS? Oh, good. There you go. You know what? It didn't start up for some reason. Hold on, hold on, folks. I had a refresh. I can reboot again. I mean. How crazy is this? The day you're Let's doing it. it. We'll get this going. That's why we're a big community, a family of people helping each other. That's what we're doing here. <laughs> That's wacky. There's a lot of fun comments in the television section here. Is that right? Hope the Amico works better than this. <laughs> the joys of live in television. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my goodness. I think he's just restarting a streamer. I think that's why it's gone dark. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think he was. I am back. I hope that took care of the problem. Um, so should I go to that? Or should I go to the... I should just go to the... So go slow again. Uh, okay. I got so, it. Uh, okay, so... I think this is all... Hold working. it. Sorry. 
and uh, I apologize for that. Uh, too many, too many windows open. Is it a lot better now? Okay, thank you. Okay, sorry for that. Well, there's 10 minutes we can all never get back. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> uh, I, I thought I would be cool and watch that. Every, anyway, let's get let's get to it. So um, first thing I want to talk about is our uh, some of our partnerships. As a lot of folks know, we have five different uh, categories of games. We have um, Retro Reimagined. We have uh, Sports and Recreation, uh, Original IPs, and uh, Board Games, Card Games, Dice Games, Casual. And uh, of course, we have Children's and Edutainment as well. So the um, we want to announce that we are partnering with Playdate Digital, not to be uh, confused with uh, Playdate, the, the new cool Crank. Uh, hardware machine that, that's coming up, the handheld, but Playdate Digital is a uh, very, uh, they do educational software for children, and they're creating a lot of, uh, we're creating a lot of exciting games with them that focus around uh, children, uh, emerging, emerging literacy, creative skills, and all that. And the first title will be Care Bears uh, that we're working on. And uh, we also uh, partnered again, once again, with Tozoi Games, and we're bringing Load Runner to Amico. And, oh yeah! Uh, I think we may have a version of that on launch, which is very cool. And then uh, I love Load Runner, G Mode, and Data East. Uh, we've done a partnership with them with Burger Time, but we're also going to be doing Bump and Jump, uh, known as Burning Rubber in Japan, and Lock and Chase, which was uh, on an original in television game as well. So, um, okay. I'm getting a lot of lag here again. It seems like it's very spotty. So let me, I'm going to go into settings one more time. I'm going to drop it one lower. So the quality is not going to be as good. But again, I, I will be posting all of these videos. In fact, I probably, I'm just going to post them because I don't want people to get a, a uh, I don't want to see, I don't want people to see them for the first time very choppy. So um, I have uploaded uh, most of them to YouTube already. So. Um, so it shouldn't be a worry. Um, yeah, gosh, I'm going to take that bit right down again. One more time. Uh, sorry, folks, bear with me a sec. It's, it's funny because we tested this for the last three days. <laughs> tested it without a hitch for hours, doing a bunch of tests and stuff, and it never glitched a single time. So it's that's, that's Murphy's Law for you, I guess, right? Um, I'm going to stop the stream and start it one more time. I apologize. Stand by. Hey, Stuart, weren't you asking about Load Runner before? Yes, absolutely. I'm glad to hear that's going. I love that game. Yeah, me too, man. I used to, that was that, okay. So before I met you and I'd come over to your house and play Wave Race, I would go at, back in my hometown when I was living at home, I would go over to my buddy's place and sit down at his computer and play Load Runner. I'm like, can I play Load Runner? Every so often on the Switch, that goes on sale really cheap. If you're, really? If you're interested in Load Runner, yeah. Okay. Check check that out every so often for sale. I'll have to do that. So what has he said so far? I had to. I was. I'm kind of hearing an echo with yours and with mine, and I'm just trying to because I think mine's just a little ahead ahead of yours. So. So I'm, I've been muting myself so it doesn't go blah 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 blah. Okay. So can you hear? Can you hear Tommy on our stream? Is fine. Yes. Okay. Um, he's. Uh oh. 
Well, and let me, you know what? Let me do something here. Maybe, maybe I'm. Oh, he's back. Okay. Um, hopefully that takes care of the problem. Um, I'm not sure it will, but I'm just going to keep going. I didn't, I wasn't really going to have this live section be a big uh, a part of it because it was really about uh, these videos that I wanted to show. So um, in that, um, it does seem fun when I, when I, re, uh, when I redo OBS though, so, um, but only for a minute. So anyway, now we're matching up. I, was, I think it was the other one I had in the background. The videos that I was going to share in this uh, choppy live stream. I'm going to share those on YouTube, but there are a few things that I need to get through here, uh, hopefully, without too much uh, choppiness and, and pain in the neck to folks. So uh, hopefully you can hear me okay. But um, in fact, you know what? Um, gosh, I wonder if I should. Now I'm good. Okay. So, uh, first thing I want to mention is thinking on the fly. Uh, we're going to be showing our UI that's user interface. So what happens when you turn Amico on and you know, the screen and the menus and everything pop up. So we have a short video of that. I'm going to be uh, posting that. Uh, I also want to, um, uh, and, and it's really cool the way you can navigate through. We wanted to make something really simple and easy uh, for everyone to understand. Uh, the other thing that the other video you're going to see is the um, we have a new holiday celebration, uh, which is like a, a, a an app that you'll be able to open on your machine. On, on Amico, and what happens with that is that you do you can set holidays for every day of the year, and uh, or any day you want birthdays, graduations. You pick the holiday, and whenever you turn Amico on on that day, you'll get a special uh, interactive greeting and, and surprise. And we have a demo of the birthday one. Uh, that I'm going to uh, post as well. And that's, uh, for those of you who may not be aware, 1010 was a special date for me uh, because it was my sister Karen's birthday who unfortunately uh, passed away. Uh, gosh, I don't even know how long it is now because I try never to remember the, the date or the, the year, but it's, uh, it's almost, uh, it's going on maybe 20 years now. I'm not sure, but Anyway, uh, so we're posting that. We also have a hardware video, which uh, is explains, it's a, a 11 minute long video explaining the design choices of the hardware. We're gonna post that. And then we're gonna also be playing, um, showing gameplay footage. I have a new 10 minute trailer, which we'll be posting as soon as uh, this, disaster of a stream is over <laughs> and uh, what else yes two other things we are doing a moon patrol contest and hopefully you can see this so if you download our amico club app if you download that app you'll be able to um post your high score on Twitter or our Facebook page tagging us. We'll put out exact information, but so on Android or iOS, go to Amico Club, download the app. You can play Moon Patrol and, and all you have to do is do a screen grab of your high score. Now, for those of you who think you can cheat and go into Photoshop, we actually have a uh, 32 digit alphanumeric code at the bottom. So we'll be able to check the legitimacy. So no cheating. Uh, so, uh, so well, there goes my whole strategy. The way you do is you, you take a, you, you take a screenshot and then you're going to post it on either social media or Twitter or email it to us. And again, we're going to give <clears throat> instructions for that. And you have an entire week to get the high score. Now the winner, whoever gets it, 
is going to get this. This is a, a Moon Patrol, oh. the original. It's a light box. Oh, my gosh. The original marquee from Moon Patrol. Oh, come on. I had it signed by the original oh. Patrol producer of the game, uh, Scott Sumura, who was also wow. the um, former president of Nintendo of America in their research. And I wish I was good at Moon Patrol, man. What a great like, right? like oh. Ray 64 on the N64. Well, you can't be with that attitude. So, so I got him to sign I know. the uh, Moon Patrol. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> it lights up too. It's really cool. And then, uh, Did he just drop that and break it? Let me see. The other thing <laughs> Sound like a broke. is we have a new demo now a lot of people oh here you go new demo put the demo on the amico club app uh, but when we put it on the app it just didn't do the game justice because <clears throat> it was you know the screens are so small so we decided instead to do something even better and what we're doing is we're bringing our exclusive in television breakouts that's the Intellivision Amico, Amico Breakout is going to be downloadable and played on your PC so that you can see oh, wow. in all its glory. Now, the controls for the, you know, the controls on Amico um, will be very cool because your, your finger is going <clears> to <throat> slide wherever your finger goes on the screen control that for the pc version you have to use your mouse but um you know so it's a little hard to control just like moon patrol is a little hard to control on the app but that's that's part of the idea right is that once you're playing these on the big screen with the amico controller it brings it's gonna bring a whole bunch of you know really cool thing uh you know aspects to it so download the breakout zip file you say well how do i do that well the good news is is that everyone who is on our mailing list is going to get the link <laughs> as soon as i'm done with this chat i don't have a pc email the link now for those do. who are not on our mailing list please 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 sign up now my mom can play though she's a pc yeah Nico.com. There's one thing I can say about all the lag time. It, you could get some really cool screenshots of Tommy going through it. Website, and you can sign up to our mailing list. You can do it right now so that you can get in on this. On this hey, look, there's a GTO round. Red um, behind him, way in the back. Watching this, I, you know, I saw that earlier, and I didn't realize that's what it was. As soon as you sign up to our mailing list, you'll be able to get uh, a response, which will have that link uh in it as well so uh, don't feel left out if it's if it's past uh, the 10 10 date uh, and that's going to be available today hashtag feeling left out yeah so that's uh, that's about it for me for the live stream uh let me see because i'm going to go ahead and post those videos um let me see uh I i'm going to go look at some uh, questions right now so, um, if there are any questions, please let me know right now. I know the stream's very choppy, so it's frustrating. If you think it's frustrating for you, you can imagine how I am. <laughs> I know that's uh, brutal when you got technical difficulties so, live. Oh. Uh, Especially when he spent a bunch of time getting it ready. Okay. Yeah, I feel for him right now. Uh, all right, so. Hey. Well, I'll tell you what, if you have any if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section of the video, and uh, and we'll get to your questions. I'll answer every question in the uh, in that in the uh, in the comments section. So thank you so much again. As soon as this is over, I'm going to make our hardware trailer, our hardware design trailer. I'm going to make that go live first. And then about 10 minutes, 15 minutes after that, you'll see the one that you really want to see, which is the gameplay trailer. So I'm going to do the hardware trailer right now, and then we'll get to 
uh, the gameplay footage because that's what everyone really wants to see. So thank you so much. Uh, sorry again for the for the choppiness. Murphy's Law added again. It was it was perfect all week, and now the internet seems to be uh, seems to be going out on me. So anyway, that's okay because it's all about the trailers anyway. That's what this was for, and you're going to get those right now. So thank you so much. Leave comments in the section. I appreciate the support. Thank you. Hey, Tommy. You know what would really suck is as he's saying goodbye, everything starts working really nice. <laughs> so how do we see these demos Are these trailers? Well, I, I think you have to go. Well, he said he's going to show it live in about. Hello, everybody. Oh. Oh. Hello. Wait, that's the beginning, I think. I think it's... Oh, and welcome to... Yeah, that's just the beginning. Gotcha. Um, think we just have to go to their channel? Check check it out, yeah. Check it out. Check it out. I see nothing. I see, I see nothing. <coughs> so I went shopping yesterday, right? Yeah. And I'm at Sam's. I'm just buying a cheesecake for my brother, my soon-to-be brother-in-law. Formerly, you know, or not formerly, I mean formally. Yeah. Brother-in-law. And and I'm standing in line, and a woman comes up with her cart behind me, stands like really close, and then puts her cart in next. And I'm like, could you have just waited like we're supposed to be doing i don't you know then i'm not gonna cause any crap right there i ain't got time for that i'm buying a freaking cheesecake just get me the hell out of here <laughs> so she's like standing within two feet of me and i'm like there's stick i'm, I'm sticking on the floor i'm like yeah there's stickers on the floor and then then she proceeds to continue to stand by me after she's put her cart next to the next to the register and then she goes she has her mask on, of course, because we're all, we're all having to wear them. But she goes, <coughs> I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Back it up. Beep, beep, beep. Back it up. At least she had a mask on. <laughs> yeah. Or did she take it off to cough? <laughs> pull it down and cough in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I was like, are you just got to be freaking kidding me? Like, think, people, think. So, um, am I wrong? Didn't he say they were just going to upload? They were, they were going to put the video here? I was, well, he said he was going to post them. Um, you know what? Let me do us a favor. Let, let it's me like try something. refreshing. I don't see anything. Yeah, let me, hold on. Let me this see. Is, uh, this is very odd. I thought it was all going to be in one video. Yeah. What the heck, man? What the what the heck? <laughs> um is he playing this on some other channel we don't know about? That's what I was I was gonna check OEB. Yeah, does, does he have the video? I wanna see what's happening there. Says it's live. What's live in television? Okay, so so Rich is saying that the hardware video is up. Where? I don't know. I'm on their site. I'm keep refreshing. Yeah, the hardware video vid up, vid it up. What? Oh, is it? Hold on. Where? Tell me. Like I can't see it. Not there yet. See, that's why I was wondering if it's like on their website. Oh, that's a good point. Maybe you look that. I'll keep YouTube on here. Okay, cool. I would think they put it here, though. I mean, we're already that's here. That's what I would think. But you wouldn't if think they're not, say, if they're not getting, website. if they're not getting good feed there, though. I mean, he may not be able to. I assume they have all these videos uploaded already, and they just have to change from private to public. Yeah, so and I'm, not, like, not like they have to upload it. It's already they should already be there. Just a matter of flipping that switch okay so <clears throat> meet developers 
Is this? All? Yeah, I'm. I'm where you are now. I mean, it took me to watch videos. What if we go to home? Old. So what if we go to? Okay, there's nothing at home. Unless no. Hey, do you think this is the sixth game Tommy was talking about trying to find the videos? Wait, whoa, wait, hold on. Let me come back. Wait, what? Do you think this hunting for the videos is the six Amico game? <laughs> it's called Goose Chase. Wild Goose Chase. <laughs> the six Amico game. <laughs> I got to say, I'm not real impressed with this game. I'm not a big fan. <laughs> Not a big fan of this one. <laughs> I have some instant re <laughs> reflection on this one. You know what's funny though, and I think it's I I I wish they would upload a new photo because they have the older control. Wait a minute. Do the controllers now have the buttons on the four corners, right? Yeah, anytime you see them where they're what is it, all four up high? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah those are wrong. Those are the original. Okay. They still have them on their website for some reason. I don't know why. I know. I'm like, why do we still have that? Now I'm echoing. I can hear myself echoing. Why am I echoing? I have so many windows open. I don't understand why it's taking so long. I mean, literally, you just go into your video and you hit private or public. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This is the Intellivision on hold music. Thank you, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, by the way, good news. I, I think I've I think I've got a good lock now again on our theme song. So excellent. Or should I say actually to begin our theme tone? Because it's more like a ringtone, because it's not going to be very long. Why don't you that. just work on it right now live? Just what not while what, we wait oh. for the video. You know, I could do that. We got some time. I don't, we, I don't got, we, we got some time. I don't see this uploading anytime soon. <laughs> we just chilling. But if I put it out there, somebody will steal it before I do it. Okay. I don't remember. Hold on. I got to remember what the notes were. But if I put it out there, somebody Hello? will steal it before I do it. Oh. I'm echoing. He found. Hold on. I gotta Where? Hello, everybody. What? Where? Okay. All right. Hold on. Okay. Hello, everybody. What? Oh, he found it. Where's the video? He found it. Okay. All right. Hold on. Okay. Where? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Pete's running it right now. Oh my gosh. On in television? Yeah, I don't know. Um, what's it called? Ah, oh, shoot. I, I lost it. Hold on. Hello, everybody. No, it's Hello. not it. What's it called? Pre show. Oh, no, that's just him. Here we go. Found it. Um, we started the design process of Amico with Tommy. We needed to figure out what his vision was. We wanted to create something that personified what in television and our messaging is all about. Something that was exciting and unique and fun. We put hundreds of pictures on the wall. We put out lots of words. We talked about the emotional response for what Amico was going to be. When we were looking at some of the curvatures of the device itself, I gave a lot of reference to. And different. It's very important to us that it's friendly, that it's approachable, that it's something that you can just pick up. You understand how to use it right off the bat. During the entire development process, we're continuously asking ourselves, what can we do to make this better product for the user? It was also important for us, though, to make something listen. that no, didn't listen. look aggressive yeah. or that wasn't scary piece of technology. You know, we really wanted to to be friendly and to be a part of the living room. The main reason we uh, designed Amico the way we did in a wedge shape from front to back and top to bottom is one, 
it allows people all over the living room to see the lights and participate in the game and really get a feel for what's going on uh, in the environment. So one of the big things I've been involved with over the last 20 years is my video game concert called Video Games Live. And touring that around the world, you know, I learned a lot of things about how important lighting was to, you know, just the music and the experience, the onstage experience to the audience. There are 40 independently controlled LEDs on the console base. And then we also have 12 LEDs in each controller for a total of 64. With that many LEDs, the possibilities are endless. You can do everything from having an LED light show to flashing police lights, fireworks show to happy birthday signal. You name it, we can do it. To make sure the lighting on Amico was a top-notch experience, we went through dozens of design iterations, different materials that diffuse the light. We have a lot of LEDs in the console and we're dealing with a lot of colors. And it's really important for us to be able to blend these in really interesting ways that correlate to the gameplay or that indicate really interesting things to the user. We also have interactive lighting in some of the games as well. So, you know, you'll be having to look on the actual base of the machine and dial in different colors on the LEDs in order to get through certain areas or to unlock certain chests or you know, keys or doorways. You can also adjust the brightness settings of the LEDs or even turn them off. It's not only aesthetic, but it really is involved with some of the gameplay and the design in our game. Very unique. We want Amico to last as long as possible. And a great way to do this is to reduce the amount of moving parts in the system. So we have steady state memory, but we've also gone as far as to design the cooling system in a way that is totally passive. We keep Amico cool and at a stable temperature by using passive airflow. So it silently allows the cold air to pass through the system and exit through the back. We've also designed the console chassis to help facilitate the natural airflow that's already happening. When designing Amico, it was really important to us to make sure that it would last as long as we possibly could make it last. We want it to last years, maybe even generations. So in an effort to do that, we reduced as many moving parts as we could. A couple of ways that we've worked to achieve this is by selecting engineering grade resins for the plastics, but also designing it in such a way that where it has thick wall thicknesses and structural ribs and a lot of internal components that really increase the strength of the controller and the console alike. We're happy and proud to announce for the first time that we've actually partnered with Qualcomm and we're using their Snapdragon family of chips. That is the thing that is the heart and soul, the thing that powers Amico. On the back of the console, you'll find an HDMI out, a power connection, a micro SD card expansion slot for more memory, and a USB-C port for future accessories and expansion. It's really important for us that people have access to tons of games on their standard system. So with the internal storage on Amico, you can store 40 to 50 games. In addition to the internal storage, we've also added a micro SD expansion so you can store literally hundreds of games on your Amico. Amico has built in RFID. RFID stands for radio frequency identification. And what that means is you can take an object tap it on your Amico and have access to new games, new content, and awesome new experiences. This is going to be used for a number of different things, but mostly with our physical media, which we'll be talking a lot more about at the end of the year. One of the interesting and fun things about the console is the different color combinations. The way that we have done that is by picking colors that are bright, they're metallic, they have depth. We use a special process to achieve an amazing finish on the surface of the Amico console. The standard colors are graphite black and glacier white. We felt it was important to give people color choices as well too, because we really do want this to be the centerpiece in their living room. We're even obsessed about the textures of all the plastics on Amico. And what we're doing with that is we're, we're selecting a mixture of gloss and matte textures to help highlight curves, highlight surfaces that we want people to see and look at and engage with. We did some special editions as well, which takes a bigger and different process. We came up with an advanced manufacturing process for our special editions to ensure that the finishes last for a lifetime. We're adding metallic vents that actually match the bezel of the special edition to really bring it all together. We have a galaxy purple, we have the GTO red, and we have the vintage wood grain. We don't want anyone to find Amico intimidating. 
and this can be seen in the controller design. We have a lot of similar features to mobile phones. Color capacitive touchscreen, speaker, microphone, gyroscope and an accelerometer, force feedback, wireless contact charging. And what that means is playing with an Amico controller is a very simple experience. It's intuitive and it elevates the gameplay experience as well. These are the kinds of things that we created in order to make very unique and simple game design and gameplay experiences. Anyone, whether they're a hyper casual gamer or have never gamed in their life, can pick it up and use it, understand it, and have a ton of fun playing with it. So, of course, my favorite video game machine growing up was the original Intellivision. And I wanted to make sure that we took certain design elements of that which were very unique. One unique feature of Amico is that the controllers actually nest inside of the console base. And not only does this harken back to the original Intellivision, but it also gives us a few features that we really think will bring a lot of value to users. A benefit of nesting the controllers in the console is it gives us a place to do wireless contact charging. So all you have to do is drop your controller in and Amico will take care of the rest. Once you put the controller in the charging base, it takes about two hours for a full charge. And with a full charge, you get four to six hours of gameplay time. Besides the wireless contact charging, you can also charge your Amico controller with a USB-C cable. The controller can internally sense the orientation you're holding it, similar to your mobile phone, and will adapt the controller to be able to play the game in that way. At the top of the controller, you'll find the home button. Not only does this allow you to turn the controller on and off, but it also allows you to pause the game, change the orientation of the controller, or get in and out of the game menu. The contour of the controller was thought out over a year. Everything from trying six to seven different types of screens to the way the disc is shaped, to the way the shoulder buttons are shaped, or even the overall form factor of the controller and the way the grip is contoured on the back. We really want a controller that fits a wide variety of people. It's designed for kids, elderly, female, males, everyone to be able to pick it up and use it. We got to a point where everything felt comfortable to everyone, no matter what size or level of gamer you were. And that was very, very important. All of this provides an easy to use experience that anyone can pick up and enjoy. We're all about family play, all about multiplayer, couch co-op. Yes, every single game has a single player, but you know, it, the fun is really to be had when there's more than one person playing. In the manufacturing world of something so sophisticated as to the Amico controller and console, uh, it's nice to be able to have the other side work with us as a team to be able to circumvent any challenges that may arise. Arc Electronics in one form or another has, has been around for, for many years. The, the factory itself has been operational for close to 30 years. During the last 10 years, we've grown to be one of the very largest uh, manufacturers of high-end electronics. We manufacture millions of controllers and componentry for the prior generation video game uh, consoles and the future generation. We can have a success rate of 99.98% of the printed circuit boards coming through as working. We pride ourselves in the investment in uh, our employees. We care about their health, their family life, their continuing and ongoing education. Uh, we're very family centric, as is in television. We were so excited to, with the idea of bringing the family back together, sitting around the couch together. As the world is changing uh, with respect to environmental responsibility, uh, we've been at the forefront <clears throat> of, of implementing uh, all the, the, the needed changes in our factory uh, process, and, and we have been awarded multiple uh, certificates for being a, a green and resp a responsible to, to our environment. One of the things that uh, attracted us uh, to work with in television was the entrepreneurial nature, the passion, the drive that's behind the implementation of the business model. Immediately, it struck us that this was a passionate, family-oriented, sincere, wonderful group of people. We were absolutely uh, stunned, and we were so much in approval of the concept. At the end of the day, our goal and mission was to create and design something that no matter what your skill level was, it was easy to pick up 
and understand. All right, that was a pretty cool video. I like that. So there's going to be 64 LEDs on the Amico. Lights will be involved in some of the games. Passive airflow, I guess that means no fan. Snapdragon chip, which is, I believe, what's using most of the cell phones. Micro SD expansion. <laughs> Stuart's computer crapped out right in the middle of this. He's trying to get back on. All right, so there should be a gameplay video somewhere. Somewhere hidden on the internet. Let's see if we can find it. Let's go back to Intellivision. Okay. Not yet. I wonder if... I don't, I don't know if they have it on their website. Let's see. Watch our videos. Oh, it just takes right there. All right. Well, let's see. I want to see this, the software video. You said that was going to be on about 20 minutes or so, I think. We should be pretty close to that by now. All right. Let's see one thing here. Tracy. Where is he putting these things? I don't get this. All right. Well, I don't know where that software video is. Hmm. Ah. Here we go. Here's our other video. I think this is the last video.
wonder if they've shown off cool before or not. Oh, I don't think we've seen Snafu before. This game should be interesting with the uh, screens on the controllers. You're back. Oh, I'm finally back. Did I see Willy Wonka on the screen? Yeah. That was in a game called Emoji uh, something. Wow. That was just in time to see hair. That Kelly, she always wins. One for Crow. <laughs> that day one for you, Stuart Care Bears? <laughs> My sister in law, yes. Hey, Rich, what's going on? Rich! Well, I'm glad I got here just in time for you to say hi. Here it is, right there. That's it. That's the deal right there, man. Wow, look at the graphics on that. That looks cool. Oh. Snap. <laughs> Smack his head. There it is, the rocket. Oh, interesting. Four player. Well, that one that crashed air must have been evil can evil because he never made it over. No. Oh, look at that. And oh. that must be that's Kelly. Interesting. <laughs> got a little target practice. Look, oh. it's a little bit of Mario up there. Oh. Oh, snap. Did you see that? Well, the rocket thing was pretty interesting, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, there's another one of my favorites right there. Huh. It's still called Side Swipers. I thought this was going to be uh, a Hot, Hot Wheels. Wheels thing. I don't know. Huh. Hey, Cardinals. Yes. <laughs> oh, here you go. I will be. Do you think, do you think that was a mistake? I think what, did that the, uh, oh man, they run back out there just like the original. Okay, that should be all the videos, right? He said a hardware and a software one, right? Yeah. All right. Wow. So I missed everything. <laughs> yes. So, <clears throat> I'm just here for the kilt. I just I just brought the kilt. That's all I was bringing. Okay. So while well, you were on the shitter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, watch it. That's a bunch of crap. 
<laughs> so it was cool. And they showed the hardware part. And they it was had, my computer that was on the crap or not. I actually took notes. Far out. I would have. It's a nice try. <laughs> so they said there's 64 LDs on the Amico. Jeez. 64? And they were showing how they could light up. They even had one where it was lit up like a like a police car light. It's like just like a red guy flipping around really fast. Yeah. So they can said that they can do pretty much anything with the lights that they want. Um, and they said that the lights will actually be involved in some of the games. Wow. So they said that's so they have, that's why they have the light going all the way around because everyone's gonna be able to see it from a certain angle. Now, now to me that sounds like a lot of fun. Some kind of game involving the lights that could be cool. Uh, you think that the uh, safe cracker game I think probably uses that hmm. when you Maybe. get when you chink into the first you know and it, <laughs> it's possible. They also said they have a pass, passive airflow and they built it so. They built this. You know how the Amico is like a side view; it kind of gets bigger on the one end. Right. Mm -hmm. So I guess the theory is. So I don't think it's a fan. I guess that's what passing me. But it looks like the the hot air is going to you know rise and then flow out Just the back. Just out the back. Yeah. And they said they're using. They partnered with um, Qualcomm for their Snapdragon chip. Uh, that's the in, chip. Which is in cell phones, and I mean those are notoriously cool anyway. They don't. Right. That's why. Uh, so that's good news about the chip manufacturer. Yeah. Good. And uh, micro SD expansion. That that was was that mentioned before? I think we. I think that was it. Was, was it? Yeah. And the phone or the phones, the uh, controllers will take two hours to charge, to a full charge. And, and last how long? Four to six hours. Okay. Which is probably pretty decent because. I mean, these are simple games. I don't think most people are going to be playing them for four hours straight. Right. And, but, like Tommy said before, even if you do, it has a uh, USB-C charger on the back, or on the bottom. Or it's somewhere on the controller, so you could actually plug it in if you're near an adapter and play it like that, if you wanted to go past, you know, your four hours or six I hours. Yeah, I wonder, how, I wonder how long the cable will be for that. I doubt they'll have a cable. They'll probably just because it charges in the unit, so they they probably won't supply any kind of cable. You'll just use your self your cell phone charger. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, yep, yeah. yep, yep. So that's that's most of what you missed. Okay. I really like the the light thing though. That man, you could do some really cool things with the lights on a system. Yeah. Controller. Did they show any load runner footage? No load runner. Do they um, show any of the Nitro Derby? They show more of that. They did show more of that. Okay. They showed more of uh, um, one thing they showed a lot more of was biplanes because before it was just like one video of two planes swooping in. Yeah, that's right. They showed a lot of that. Um, they showed more shark, shark, tank more battle, cor cornhole, um, tank battle, which is called in, in television battle tanks, I think. Battle tanks, yeah, yeah. Is the name of it now? And the skiing? Um, How the skiing looks? Oh, the so. skiing. Um, the skiing was really cool. It had. It had. Um, you know, let me let me just show it to you real quick. Okay. Because it's still on here. Because um, it might make me cry. Well, the skiing was cool because there was multiplayer this time around. Oh, nice! Yeah, all we've seen is single. I, I don't think we've. Yeah, I don't think we've ever seen multiplayer that. No. Not that I remember. No, sure. <laughs> because that's the voice you come up with to go against that one. <laughs> Not that I remember. No, no sure. sure. <laughs> 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 going to share with me? Yeah, there you go. All right, I'll just go. There's shark, shark, shark. Watch this uh, pelican or whatever back there. Oh <laughs> wow! What is that? I think it's cool, isn't it? Here, we'll just show it over because you missed the whole thing. Is that the? Yeah. Okay. The uh, 
Dungeons and Dragons. It's not yeah. a Dungeons and Dragons anymore. Astro Smash. That looks kick ass. I like how the ships are different. That's good since we're really gonna need that for multiplayer. Yeah, instead of just a you know a shape of color, you know. Here's a skiing. Watch this. I love the oh, intelligent live thing up there. Look wow, at four player. Oh, that guy went down. There it is. That's look at that. Oh, look at that. <coughs> oh, that, there you go. That's yeah. That's cool. Oh, Ooh, dude. I like how the um, it's the graphic is kind of a throwback. Oh, look at that. That spider thing creeps me the heck out. This game looks so good. This still might be my favorite looking in television Nico game. Oh, look Which at is something that. awesome about it. All those extrusions are really cool. Oh, there you go. There's the biplane. That's all. Oh, look at that. You can swoop in and get a certain weapon. That's pretty cool. I remember that game. They need UFOs in this game. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. Now, what's the deal with the balloon? I don't know. I'm, you know, I've never played the game. Well, I wonder if that makes you invincible. Because I was like, why isn't why aren't all any of the planes going for the the golden balloon? I don't know. I noticed that too. And then somebody flew right through it, and I think they turned gold, like the golden gun, and golden eye. It's not just a clever name. Hmm. Ah, there you go. That kind of stinks. So this isn't going to be on the phone because now I can't even play it. So this is actually yeah. a big. This was a big disappointment. That that announcement. That yeah, that's odd to me. Why well, about I didn't do both? Yeah, that's going to be a huge question. Because I don't have a PC at home. Battle tanks. The one before this was what? Was that? I don't know. I was the no, it's, and it's all right. It's not a big deal. That's, oh, missile command. That missile? is missile command. It's just really. It's crazy, man. Really reformatted there. They even have it where there's there's people on top and bottom sometimes. Oh wow! Oh, it's got a flamethrower. Wow. Hmm. That was Stevie T actually talked about a there was a uh, a phone app tank game. Oh, look at all that new moon patrol shot. Yeah, video. look at what we haven't seen. They're on Hoth. Hmm. Wow! Wow! Oh, oh, look at all the mods. Oh, that's cool. They have a television that. mod. Did you see that one? Yeah. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, here it is. Dino Blaster. Dino Blaster, yeah. I still wish they tilted more so it's straight down. The view. Yeah. I hope this is really good. Because I love Bomberman. I hope this matches up with it. Oh, look at all the custom boards. That's one cool thing about cornholes. You can have so many different boards. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm getting this game for sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. How much is that on the Switch, I wonder? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Nitro Derby! Once I heard it was going to be on the Amico with multiplayer, I figured I would just hold off and wait and get it for that. Right. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Now, they still don't show much of this game here. Yeah, nope. very little. <laughs> Watch all the different stuff they have going on in Pong. Oh, my. Oh, my. 
Oh, wow. That's hilarious. The Valentine's Day edition. Oh. That was where I watched this before. I can't remember if they've shown this or not. The Simply school. called Cool. I wonder how the gameplay is going to be on that. Yeah. I guess. You know, oh, Snafu, shut up. Well, this they haven't forgot, shown before. I forgot about Snafu. It's like. This is just multiplayer like, snake. It's like Pac Man and Centipede meets Tron. Except the trails don't stay. I, I almost wish they would have put the name of the game in the middle. Yeah, sometimes time, you miss it. Yeah, because by the time I'm done watching the action, what's so what happening? Sparkles. Is this a different version of uh, Yahtzee? That's what I'm wondering. It looked very Yahtzee like. Now, a game like this is going to be great with the controllers. When everyone has their own hands on the controllers. Yep. A movie charade. What was that? It said animated movie something. Orange chicken. <laughs> Snozberries taste like snozberries. <laughs> this will be another good game for uh, multiple controllers. Well, and you know that you know why he used that scene right there. That's that scene he was talking about the other day. Yeah. We are the dreamers of the dream. Blank slate. This is where Kelly takes over. Kelly's a beast. She is. She's all over this game. Steve, not so much. Huh, it's a recording. Yeah, I saw that too, yeah. Pinata. Last thing I want to do is wake up and see the count standing over my bed. Yeah, how's that? Ah, they have a Larry Bird jersey. Larry Bird. Yeah, Larry. <laughs> oh. oh, those cookies are making me hungry. I don't think I've eaten today. And back to Care Bears. All right. I, you know, some people complain about Evil Knievel. This game looks so good to me. <coughs> yeah, what would they complain about? Oh, they said the graphics look like a phone game, and I mean, I don't even know what looks like a phone game even means anymore. I mean, I mean, games phone games look great. I mean, this is basically, um, oh, what was that series that was on Xbox with the motorcycle? I can't think of it, but it's the same thing where you're just going over all different obstacles and you're yeah. pulling yourself back, push yourself forward. Trials. That was that's what it was. It looks like a trials game. I like how Evil Knievel looks like a uh, like a paper doll. Yeah, the rocket yeah. section looks really interesting. I still don't get why this isn't Hot Wheels side swipers. I could have swore time I said this was. Yeah, going to be Hot Wheels. Well, I didn't update the name. I know those cars. Those aren't Hot Wheel cars. No, I was looking at the rims, trying to. I was trying to see if that. But they do look more like a. Mm. No, they kind of do look hot. Oh, weird. you can control the curve. Yeah, that I remember that. Early prototype. Wow. Crazy. What time is it? One twenty-five. Mm -hmm. I can't play action games on my phone, and the way I know, right? That's what I keep doing with the with the Moon Patrol one. Yeah, I play. I've, I downloaded Evil Knievel on the on the phone, and it's it's fun on the phone. It'd be much oh. better with a real controller. 
but it what? was even fun on the phone. Can you still get it? Yeah. It's uh, it, it it does cost money. I don't know what it is, two or three bucks. Oh, okay. Well, I'll have to do that. Wait a minute. Papa Pete, did they? There was no mention of uh, Hot Wheels on that clip, though, was there? I don't remember seeing any. I don't either. So those wow. games look pretty cool. Um, there was a few new ones. Yeah. Uh, Fat fingers make moon patrol. Actually, they do. Tell me about it. They do. I'm like, oh yeah, I better move this over because I can see what's coming. In fact, we were just talking about that. I was, I, I don't know why I didn't do this before. You were waiting for me to tell you to do it. Um, but I, was, I just cast my phone to my TV and I was playing Moon Patrol today. But I got some sort. It was, it was pretty laggy. Um, I'm gonna play it again just to see if it really is that way all the time. Yeah, maybe it's just the way the systems work. I mean, I locked up. I totally locked up. I hit the, I hit a cookies window to close it, and all of a sudden, computer took a shit. Oh, earlier? Yeah, that's where I went. I'm just like, what's going on? Couldn't get back to that. I couldn't do anything. Stupid. I thought you left in a rage. <laughs> ah, I'm out of here. Uh, yeah, it was great playing it on the TV. Like I said, there was some lag, but I'm going to double check. I'll play it some more. I was hoping to play Breakout today, but I got to be honest. The only thing I'm disappointed in in the show was uh, that Breakout's not on the demo for the phone. Do you want me to Do you want me to leave the door open for you and you can come over and play? I'll sneak over and play Breakout. You just go, go, go to your mom's that. Try that this weekend, Stuart, and see how you like it. Okay, I will. I shall make a report. Sideswiper is now Hot Wheels. Yeah. I thought it was odd they didn't mention it on the video. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Because he did mention it a while back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Television hasn't updated the game for Hot Wheels yet. They are going through the list of calls to decide on which cars to use. Yeah, I mean, these days it's so PC, it's not right to use one of my aesthetically one of my favorite cars not socially one of my favorite cars but with the one with like the which the, one had like the the helmet the red like baron the war, like the german war helmet yeah the red baron the red baron yeah yeah thank you yeah yeah that's my favorite car i think it, that came out in 68 wow that's the same year i came out Knock, knock. Anthem is here. <laughs> What's that? Just in time, Anthem. Just in time. <laughs> Look at all the people joining. This is like the, this is supposed to be the after show. <laughs> this is way to party after the show. <laughs> I should go get a beer. <laughs> all right. Now the show is really starting. I go get lit before I go to the wedding. Oh, man. You know, that, that happened to, uh, <laughs> that happened to us once where uh when my wife's brother uh you know remember cecil died yeah yeah well that day um there was a family wedding and he had died earlier in the week and the funeral fell on the wedding so we went to a funeral in the morning and a wedding at night and almost everyone showed up to that wedding already drunk I mean, people were drinking like crazy. It was the weirdest, one of the weirdest days I've ever had <laughs> to go to a funeral and a wedding in the same day. I mean, you talk about like an emotional. Yeah, what mess. a roller coaster, huh? Oh, uh, it was crazy. Uh, it's like uh, somebody right. cut, the, cut the cable of your elevator of of feelings. Yeah. Hey, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I loved the uh, man. I had all kind of Hot Wheels. I had the the plastic, you know, the plastic case where you pop it open with a snap, and you had the trays that pulled out. Yeah, I remember back in the day that so many cases and things like that were made of that foamy material. You know, they had that cush to it. And I like how the the, the tracks would go together with that like a little tongue thing. You'd stick them yep. in, hold. 
Yeah. You, know, you could take just one part of a track, you could whack someone with it, and that thing hurt like crazy. Really stung. That probably won't be in side swipers. No. <laughs> Did you get the hey, what were the sizzlers? Remember sizzlers? Uh, cars? Yeah. Yeah. You should look that up, sizzlers. And they had a um what you would they were like the size of a the size of a Hot Wheels car. They might have been Hot Wheels sizzlers. Oh, that's um, familiar. And there's a little hole in the side where you'd put it like a quarter inch jack, like for a headphone. So here you had this little jack, and then it would uh, your cord. There was a short little cord that would go to the uh, uh, what was fashioned to look like a little gas tank, and so you go you plug this into the car, and then you push down on the plunger on this gas tank thing, and it would charge up the car. Ooh, that's awesome. And then you put it on this track, which was about this fat and black. And then it had bank turns. And you just put it there, flip the switch, and zoom. It would take off on its own for a while. Pete's wanting to know if you said the sizzler, if you're talking about the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Same name. We went to, I don't know, is Sizzler, is there Sizzler and Western Sizzler? Are they different? Are they the same things? Oh, I don't know. No, I think they're different. I um, think one's Western and one's regular. Okay. <laughs> one has the word Western in it. The other one doesn't. I got a terrible Western Sizzler story. I'm so, I'm so technical. I got a terrible Western Sizzler story. Maybe I'll tell you off air. <laughs> Western Sizzler in the Ozarks. and Not good. Oh, things turn out bad afterwards. Well, you know, I was kind of surprised the other day. You know, Denny's. I was kind of mm, on Denny's now, right? Are they still open? Yeah. Yeah, you can get a Moons Over My Hammy whenever you're ready. <laughs> moons Over My Hammy. <laughs> and it's about $3, I think. it's. Oh, it's one of the worst things ever. You can get a, the worst you can get a $3 ever. steak at Sizzler, or you, you can go get a Moons Over My Hammy. Hey, Pete, are you going to be on? You're on the um, the Amico All Access today in about, what, two and a half hours? So I'll be on that one. What did you think of your mango jalapeno IPA? This is so funny because we were just talking about spicy drinks and beers yesterday. Hmm. And my uh, my son-in-law, not a fan. He's like, nope. Uh, and um, uh, and I was telling him that they, they had a margarita at the place where you came to see me play where we got canceled. And it's got... And it was a jalapeno uh, margarita. And I was like, mm, no, I'm not a big, I'm not a fan of that, uh, the spice or whatnot. And especially it doesn't belong in my sweet drink. Have you ever had, um, but some yeah. people really love it. I probably get the name, but I think it's called wild blue. It's blueberry. Yeah. Blue. You, I'm, I was with my nephews. I think when I tried that, it was down at the brewery. We went for a That's brewery. Right. Blueberry beer. It's got like a bulldog or something on it. Uh huh. That's absolutely right. And that stuff is so. I, I think it's. It doesn't even taste like a beer. It tastes like a soda. No, it's. Is it a beer or is it a lo lager? It's like a blueberry lager. I think. Mm, I don't know, but the the alcohol content. So isn't for, it like eight percent? It's eight percent. It's pretty yeah. high for a beer. I mean, usually beers like what three and a half. Uh well four. On an average, four to six. But eight is pretty... Eight is twice of four. It is twice. So if you're doing... If you drink two of those beers, it's like you're drinking you know, four of another. It's Yeah. It's, those are dangerous, man. It's, it's not a beer to, to drink when you're out. No. Out. It's not like those Mike's Hard Lemonades where you're like, okay, this isn't doing spit. Or well, like you, those hard sodas that you get. What are they called? Some kind of like a Seagram's... Yeah. Some, I don't know. It's all like goofy stuff. It's right. all like pink and yeah, yellow drinks. And it's there's hardly any alcohol. I don't even know why they bother. I know. You just, I'm like, I would rather just go, I'd just rather buy vodka or Jameson or something 
with which you can mix an orange soda rather than a what's that guy's name? That's a name, and he makes a hard orange. Whatever. Nothing's better than a fresh steak that still has the whip marks on it. Are you talking about Orange Julius? <laughs> Is that the name yeah. you're looking for? The hard Orange Julius. <laughs> so, Pete, isn't that um, uh, wasn't Canadian Thanksgiving? Was it earlier this week? No. Is it actually this weekend or was it earlier this week? I, I, I don't know, but as much as I like Thanksgiving food, I should have just been we, Canadian for the day. We should, you know what? That's a good idea. We should, uh, maybe we should start celebrating Canadian Thanksgiving and our Thanksgiving. Yeah, so why not? Food. Just do two of them. Back to back months. Oh, that'd be great. Yum. Hmm. And follow it up with candy for Halloween. We'll just do the Thanksgiving one on a, on that Saturday, like a Saturday, wherever it falls. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. We'll yeah. have to, you know, we'll have to go to Pete's show and get, you know, donned honorary Canadians for that holiday. True. I don't want to do it just to do it. And then somebody in Canada getting mad at me. <laughs> Posers. Well, we're not going to stream it. <laughs> we're, not, we're not streaming it. <laughs> we're just going to do it. Just stream us eating food. I just don't want it to come up later, like accidentally in a conversation. We're like, oh, we shouldn't have talked about that. Now they think we're posers. Canadian posers. So. Hey, that's right. Easy G mentioned it. We started showing people play it, and Papa Pete just mentioned about booting it up. Tom even said in the preview, they were gonna sh- I thought they were going to show it booting up. From yeah, you would think that wasn't, but they didn't do that in the hardware video. No. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. There's going to be a lot of interviews, I'm sure, after this with Tommy. Yeah. But man, so that, can... that beginning was brutal. Um, I felt so bad for him because when you're live and you're having technical problems. Well, especially like you said, the last three days we've been testing it and it's been fine. Like we had that one show where it, when we sort of started, it was just echoing like crazy and I couldn't figure it out. Right. It, it felt like it went on for about five minutes, and it was really probably 30 seconds. But right. you're a panic because you're like, what the hell? This is awful. <laughs> i got to figure this out. Now, on the air, i got to figure it, this out. It's brutal when that happens because you're under so much pressure, too, to try to figure it right away. Yeah. Yeah. I work Monday, so big turkey dinner tomorrow. Oh, wow. Turkey sounds really good. I might have to do that. Oh, God, well, I, I probably that. better get going. I love turkey and mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah, dude. And mashed potatoes and corn. Wait, do you mix the mashed potatoes and corn? Interesting. My dad does that. And then the only other person in our family does that is my niece. Where she, oh, really? Where they both you put the corn on the mashed potatoes and eat it. You don't do, well, now, wait a minute. I don't do that because there's no reason to do that. Because there's sometimes there's juice in the corn so i don't want to soggy down my my uh potatoes i don't like soggy food like breads i don't like bread pudding i don't like soggy soup uh yes no smart ass but uh when it comes to that no what i do is i scoop i'll take a spoonful of potatoes of mashed potatoes and then i'll dip it in the corn and eat it ah okay Here's here's Pete with the conspiracy theory. I like this. I wonder if someone could see, and that's what I was thinking right off the bat. I'm like, if he's been checking this out for three days, and then all of a sudden today, when everybody knew long time ahead, all I can picture is remember an airplane and all the lights went out, and they showed that guy he had unplugged it, and he's laughing, and they just plugged it back in. <laughs> Someone's outside Tommy's house. He just he had unplugged everything and. Plug it back in. <laughs> maybe, maybe a tree got hit by lightning and sna- and got, hit the cord and it unplugged, like on Back to the Future. <laughs> oh, I remember that? I always love that <laughs> when Doc does that. There's a movie I could watch. So <laughs> Wednesday, our show, we're actually going to talk about movies, mm-hmm. and and right there, that's a good one to bring up because I love I love that movie. Yeah. Yeah, and 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 I want to, and we'll tie games in with that too. That's why I'm gonna, 
that's why I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, get hooked up and play this. So, oh, Bill and Ted. Yeah. Oh, I was showing this in the beginning. You, did you show? You were talking about Did you show that? I don't I remember. Did. You can go back and watch our show. But yeah, this is one of the LJN sent me the sample. So I still have it. Because they were the ones also who sent me the uh, the Punisher game that was in the Super Game Boy. And I, I think they did the Back to the Future game too. And I had it, but I don't know where it is right now. I don't know if I got rid of it or where it went. Hey there, Pete. So hopefully that works. What's up, Pete? I got to get going. I got to get ready for this wedding. I got to. Now that we have people watching, you want to show you're killed? <laughs> now that we have people watching. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can do this. All right. Once again, uno mas. Oh, wow. I got so much crap on the floor. And you're the only one going with the kilt, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I'm the only one worthy. No, I'm just saying. I'm pretty sure you don't, you're the only person in the history of the world who's ever worn a TurboGrafx shirt with a kilt. With a kilt. That's got to be a first. Tommy would be so proud. Let me see if this – does this help if I put it on my chair? Where's the kilt? <laughs> I'm trying not to break anything here. So. Anthony just said kilt shot. <laughs> kilt shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whew. <laughs> I killed it. <laughs> Did you ever watch? Um... You, wait a minute. I have to tell you this first. There is. There is. Hold on. I may have it. Here. You're going to love the name of this. This is my first kilt I ever got. That's the name of the company. <laughs> <laughs> this entitles me to 10% off my next, my next one. That reminds, that, reminds, that reminds me of the ID network. They show all those like mystery killing shows. Yeah. Yeah. And some of the names were hilarious. Like they had a they had one where it was ministers who had killed people. Oh, shut and, up. And the, Come on. I don't know how they found enough of these to make a show about it, but there was a show was, the show was called Sinister Ministers. Oh God. And then <laughs> And then another one where uh, old people were killing people. Hey, Billy, what do you want to be? <laughs> a sinister menace. And they had one where uh, old people were killing people, and they called the show Elder Skelter. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I got it. Thank bad you, Papa. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. So about the Sinister Ministers and Elder Skelter. Wouldn't you like to be the guy who came up with that? Like, that, that was you know mine. what I, that that's was yours. <laughs> you know, you know, uh, that all that, that just makes me think that Guy Kingsbury was on the crew when they were writing that. That would be totally, totally what he does. Uh, oh, wow. Elder Skelter. That's a classic right there. That's, that is. That's one for the. That's one for the books. What do they say? That's one for. One for the. One for the archives. Elder Skelter, sinister minister. So, so Papa Pete mentioned uh, airplane, and did you ever watch? I, I'm sure you've seen airplane, but did you ever watch Police Squad? I. You know, I never was a. I no, no, I never. I've. I, I, there's. If I were to watch some of the very first ones, or is there just. There's only four episodes. No, there's six yeah. episodes. So Pete watched four, but there's only two oh. more. So it, it was only on for one season, just six episodes. That was it. I never, I, I got a little tired with some of that stuff. I just thought it was like, um, I don't know I, who wants to kick me in my bare knees right now for this one, but, or in my socked shins, but, uh, like space balls. I hated it. Uh never seen it. Okay, good. Don't. <laughs> because it was just I just didn't think the humor was good. 
And, and beyond that, I thought, you know, you'd never have a movie if it wasn't for Star Wars. And your jokes aren't good enough. Not like, like, um, like Family Guy. They did three episodes based on Star Wars. And they're funny because they're using their humor just clothed in Star Wars, right? So, uh, so it was, you know, so I kind of got tired of some of those. They were a little too obvious to me, you know? I, just, I, mean, I love Police Squad. It, my favorite, I think my favorite thing ever was they had that one cop who was so tall that he didn't fit into the screen. <laughs> he would cut off here so you just see the bottom. Like on Home Improvement where they just do the Yeah. Except you couldn't see his head, so but you wouldn't see his head. Yeah. He walked into the scene, and uh, Frank Drebin said, "I forgot his name." He goes, "You got something in the corner of your mouth." <laughs> the guy's like, you know, seven feet tall, and he does one of these, and half a banana <laughs> falls and hits the desk. <laughs> he had half a banana stuck in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that was so funny. Like he didn't know what it was when he mo pointed it out. <laughs> You have something on you. It's something. It's half a banana. Spaceball. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. What are you saying? Was is it? Are you missing an awesome piece of crap? Is that what you were missing in there? <coughs> oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, that is funny. That is funny, but but airplane. I thought that was hilarious. I love airplane. I don't really remember airplane too much. I have to watch that again to know. I watched it recently. It's still it's still funny. It's is it okay? Yeah, I just. I mean, to... if I'm sure if you liked it when it came out, you're probably still gonna like it. It's you know, it's, I'm sure not everyone likes that humor because, I mean, some of it, like I said, it's kind of obvious. But I just I don't know, something about that movie was hilarious. Yeah, well. I don't know if it's possible for us to, you let me know. What am I doing? Yeah, Monday I've got that. Tuesday I've got that. Can we do a show from your place on Wednesday? Think about that. Okay, let me see. This, this is our live brainstorming. So think about that. Wednesday's the movie show, right? Yeah, and I'm just wondering... Can I get there early and we could watch the second Bill and Ted together? Uh, let me see what's going on. And then I'll see in the meantime if I'll I'll work on getting a live stream. My only problem right now is with work, man. I'm I'm working. I'm getting up early, Excellent. working late. Okay. The last couple of shows I've worked up to the show, did the show, ended the show, and then went back. Got to back work. to work. <laughs> I've been there. I'm hoping by the end of October, we're all we're all good. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. You know, we'll 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 see. You know, I don't think I've ever seen Airplane Two with a space shuttle. That's what I was saying. Airplane Two. I haven't seen that in a long time. Yeah, I don't think I've seen it. If I have, it was only once. It was a long time ago. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Don't look for anything realistic. I got a drinking problem. <laughs> <laughs> that was that's one of the best jokes ever. You know, my, one of my favorite scenes when. Uh, um, oh, what's the guy's name? The guy from uh, Unsolved Mysteries. Oh, Robert Stack. <laughs> Robert Stack. When he comes into the air, the, the airport, he walks in. He's got his sunglasses on, and he whips them off, and he's got a smaller pair of sunglasses on right underneath. <laughs> that's a beautiful. Oh. Show. That's a beautiful show. William Shatner. Oh my God, Pete, you're just. Do you know, I'll say this. This is my last thing because it'll pertain to Hammer Away. Because it's a little music trivia for you. One of the last, uh, there's there's a band. You need to check them out. They had three albums. First album, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Second album, eh, not as awesome. Obviously, totally not as awesome. Third album, pretty good again. A uh, band called World Trade. And in that band is, um, is a gentleman that now I'm being a real, really cool guy, and I'm like totally blanking on his name because that's what we do. Is it William Shatner? No, it's Robert. It's Robert. Mm. Even Pete thinks it's William Shatner. Why can't I think of it? 
Um, oh, Judas Priest. He started working with um, with Yes and um, Billy. Sorry, Billy. Billy. Billy Sherwood is his name. So uh, one of the latest Shatner albums, Billy Sherwood worked on it with him. And um, so check that out. Uh, William, I'm going to do this. William Shatner. In the meantime, for those of you, you should check out uh, War of the Worlds by... Uh, hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll do a thing on that. Imagine um, if uh, Ed McMahon was in Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only band he could be in. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <gasps> you just made me think of an edit I should work on. Okay. I'll work on an edit. Let's see if I can do it. Hey there. Rick, I just I listened to the song last night. And it's from an album that a lot of major yes fans will shun to push away to say no yeah Got william it. shatner here it is october 8th 2013 they released the that. official video for william shatner's record ponder the mystery oh so it's a, like a, re a redone okay and ponder the mystery also features appearances of steve vai Robbie Krieger of the Doors, Al DiMiola, George Duke, Vince Gill, Dave Koz, Rick Wakeman, and Edgar Winner. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you ever see the William Shatner uh, game show from about eight years ago? No. No. I'll tell you what, I could do an entire show on game shows. It was well, it was one of the funniest things ever. Then then we'll be working on that too. It was uh it is go game go. Wasn't it called Show Me the it was like Show Me the Money or something like that? Oh yeah, I think I think I remember that. But they had these women that would would uh like they were like would would reveal answers or something. Here you go. Show Me the Money is a television game show hosted by William Shatner, which ran on ABC from November fifteenth, two thousand six. To dis oh, wow, 14 years ago? <laughs> yeah, but listen to this. This is funny. It almost doesn't seem real. The <laughs> by Williams hosted by William Shatner, which ran on ABC from you ready? November 15th, 2006 to December 13th, 2006. I, I know this all too well because I watched every episode. They had oh, more God. recorded. ABC just pulled it, never never showed the remaining ones. When somebody won, they had these women out, these models. They were called the Million Dollar Dancers. They'd come down and they'd dance around the guy. Yes. But when somebody lost, <laughs> but when someone they lost, out, they, they came out and kicked his ass. And they they do a dance, but it was just really slow. It was like a it was like a sad dance. It was hilarious. I think I'd want to lose. By the way, No Whammy, um, Pressure Luck is my favorite game show ever. I still think it's the greatest game show of all time. It's Tremendous. That's crazy. That's crazy. It said the show employed an aspect similar to Deal or No Deal, but with open-ended trivia questions. The show was taped at CBS Television City in Hollywood. It also aired in Canada hmm. on CH. Uh, so uh, William Shatner would dance too, but only his oh. up, only his upper body moved. Kind of like now I'm now I'm really wondering why the show didn't go on. He kind of danced like the gopher in uh, Caddyshack. <laughs> <laughs> they just have a dirt hole he pops out of. Wait, Pete, are you agreeing with me with, with pressure luck? Oh my lord. Yeah, I uh, But sure, if we kill all the golfers, then we won't have anybody here to play. Oh, yeah. Wait, Papa Pete answered in <laughs> Shatner style. Watch. It must have been a hit. <laughs> I'm a doctor, not a game show host. 
Yeah, that story of the guy who memorized the uh, the pattern on pressure, like, it's crazy. Because at one point late in the game, he said he was getting nervous. And if you watch the video, you can tell he, he lost his train of thought and he, he forgot the pattern. And he just had a blind, he just had to hit it and pray. Because when he was doing it right, he was only hitting like two spots the whole, the whole show, mainly one spot. But on this one, he hit a spot completely off. And you could see he was like really nervous and he survived, but he was so close to losing it. That show went across two episodes. It was so long. I remember watching it when it first aired at my grandma's house because I, I thought it was the best show ever. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I'm assuming it's on YouTube. We can watch it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, then let's, we need to live stream that. But even though that's the most famous episode, there's a better episode. And I forgot what it's called, but it's got, <laughs> it's got like a nickname. Um, but um, it ends up with where these two women are going back and forth, passing their whammies. They would take what they had to take. That then just sounds pass, bad. Then they pass the rest. And it kept, went back and forth, back and forth. It was, it's probably the most exciting episode of any video of any uh, game show of all time. That's the one to watch. That one's awesome. Yeah, we'll have to. I wish I I brought this up with Tommy on our show. I said, if you guys do a game show, please do pressure luck because it'd be perfect because you got the big button. Yeah. (laughs) Silly whammies. Yeah, his name was like, I think it was Michael. uh, I can't remember. It was Michael something. I'll find out. But you know what happened? He took his money and he went and there was some kind of a radio a radio contest where they were giving money out if you had certain like numbers on your dollar bill, you know, that little serial number thing. And so he went and he had taken most of his money. Peter David Tamarkin? No, Peter Tamarkin's the host. Oh, what did he say? The guy that was on Oh, are you talking the about the guy that was on the show? Yeah, Michael Larson. There you go. Michael Larson. Okay, I'm sorry. Duh. He lost, according to that documentary, watch. He lost a lot of his money because he had taken it out of the bank, and he was he was playing this radio game where you're trying to match your numbers on on your dollar bills because he he took a lot of it out in dollar bills, and it was like Christmas Eve or something. We went out to dinner, came home, someone had robbed the place. Took yeah. <laughs> wow. Paul Michael Larson was an American contestant on the television game. So press your luck in 1984. Yeah. Notable for winning $110,237 in cash and prizes. And prizes. at the time, the largest one day total ever won on a game show. He Think was able that. to win by memorizing the patterns used on the press your luck game board. The thing is, it wasn't just one pattern. There were several patterns. So this wasn't like it was easy to do. There were several patterns. He had to recognize which pattern it was and then remember what the pattern is for that particular segment. Wow. So it's still difficult. It's not like many people could even do it then. Wow. Yeah. There's a lot of good stuff on pressure. Died in 99 at the age of 49. He already looks like he's 60 in this picture. I know. You know what I was I know. I looked on eBay. I looked on eBay once trying to find this. I wonder... I would do anything to get one of those uh, whammies. When you get a whammy, you'd get like this board to pop up out of your where you're sitting. Yeah, so like four of them. You're out. I would love. I wonder if any of those still exist somewhere. I would love to get my hands on one of those whammies. Let's see. All right, this is the last thing I'm going to look up, and then I got to go. Then you got to go. Pop up whammy. Why don't you just? Why don't we just do the show all day and just forget the button? Yeah, because that. That would make a lot of people happy. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I don't see. Uh, oh yeah, and the they were when this was going on, the producers were panicking because they thought he was cheating, and they're trying to figure out what to do. But yeah, he didn't cheat at all. He just he just uh, he just outsmarted them. Uh. What is this? Whammy. The all new press your luck. No, 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 no. Not as good. Oh. <laughs> new. It may be new, but it's crap. By the way, that 
show was hosted by um oh damn it, what was his name? Um Rick Idle from St. Louis. Remember the DJ? He was that on 165. That sounds familiar. I forgot his real name. He doesn't use Rick Idle on that. Well, uh, they had a press your luck in Nintendo DS game. Why I have the DVD game. It's yes, kind of I see. It. Player. I have that. Do you? Wow, they have it here for eighteen eighty nine plus eleven dollars shipping. I would, or you can get the DS game for ten dollars and eight dollars shipping. I also love Prices Right, the the Bob the Bob Barker series. Um, yeah, ones especially in the eighties. They it had was, it for the Wii. What pressure lock? Yeah, yeah, it's been on a lot of things. Wow. Um, but uh, to me, the Amico would be perfect for it. Everyone's got their button. Um, I don't know. It's just plus the Amico's built for m multiplayer anyway. Hollywood Squares. Are you ready for this? Hollywood Squares. Price is right. Press your luck. Super password on floppy. Floppy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can you get the drive for that? You know what's funny is showing a kid a flop, a three three and a half inch floppy disk. Oh yeah, I remember hearing someone once say, <laughs> "You know, a lot of games when they're saving, they'll show a floppy disk." Y yeah, a lot of yeah. people are like, "What is that?" They don't they don't know what that is. Why do they keep showing that when they're saving? <laughs> that's so dumb. Well, that's like how cool did we think we are when we had a zip disk? Oh my god! What I used to use sidebar. I used to use SideQuest drives. They were basically floppies that were this big, but like a three quarters of an inch thick. We had those. We had Bernoulli's. Yeah. yeah. But then when the zip disk came out, it was like, oh, like a hundred meg on one disk. It's like, this is a And what did you say the one that. before that? What how, what was the one before that called? There was a SideQuest. There was Bernoulli. SideQuest. I yeah. used those. Yeah. What a cartridge thing that was. Good Lord. The zip disk, little, small, I Omega, right? I Omega zip I Omega. disk. And then the CD killed them. Yep. Bye. <laughs> and 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 now, you know, you get four gig on a little, you know, or or you can get sixty four. You can get like sixty four gigs on something this big. You're like, <laughs> I've told my kids a story. The place I worked at back in the nineties. We didn't yeah. have a server. We just had our own computers. Yeah. And uh, we, at one point, to back things up, they went and they bought a gig hard drive. Ooh. It was the size of a shoebox. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was huge. And it was, it was like, this is the greatest thing ever. We'll take everything wow. we have, and we're going to put it right to this gig. It's only the size of a shoebox. And you now it's it? like, it was like half a shoebox. It was like. The same length, but like half of that size. It was like so, like yeah. kid, so like a kid's shoebox. Yeah, and <laughs> but you know, I remember that when we got that gig, and the entire company was loading everything onto it, and then you can go get like a terabyte that's this big. It's like, oh my god, that's so. I crazy. know, right? Yeah, like like I got a little little extra hard drive over there, little tiny. Oh, so one last thing before you go, they were talking about the way they they built the uh, Amico. They yeah, built it to last. They said for for years and years. So I'm really curious how long the Amico is going to hang around. The like, uh, assuming it's successful and there's a chance to make another one. I wonder how long they're going to wait. I, I'm guessing at least seven years, or or until they have something hardware wise that they want to introduce that they need to make a new one. Because I would I would hope on that. there's no reason to ever do another one. Right, hardware wise, I think where Tommy said they might do it. It makes me it makes me interested now to know. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh 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 uh, Pete. I don't get old. I get classic. <laughs> we're just they don't call it old rock. rock. They call it classic rock. We're getting more and more retro. Yes, I'm retro. I'm vintage. <laughs> This is vintage Stewart. I'm gonna give give the middle finger to old. We don't do that. We don't we don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so all right. Well, I I 
you know, unless yeah. you got to hit that, unless you got to hit that two hour mark. You only, you only have 55 seconds left. You can. So what it. do we have? Just let's do a quick wrap up. Amico. Okay. Check out the videos. We're going to have to do that. I thought that said horny. Um, <laughs> we have, <laughs> we have a show coming up where we're kind of, we're going to change. Really fast and down the way you said it. I thought that said horny. <laughs> and we're going to talk about movies. We got 31 seconds left and uh, hammer away is coming soon. We're going to have a, a, a one on that. I got to talk about Peter Frampton and I'm going to be talking about a couple other things. Uh, Toby Jepson coming soon on that for the recording of the wayward sons. Uh, I'm wearing a kilt. I'm going to a wedding. Uh, I'm going to drink and our new, our new slogan for the show. Horny don't play that. <laughs> Horny don't play that. <laughs> oh. Must be the kill. That's it. Go game go. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll we'll see you. Well, I'll be back on OEVP show in two hours. Yeah. And then we'll see everyone on back on Wednesday. Was Pete having a show tomorrow night? Yes. Okay. Does he have room for us? Um, maybe for well, you, we're, we're trying, he's trying to do it where different people are different shows. Yeah. I mean, that's cool. Yeah. That's fine. You know, we see he if doesn't, want, if he doesn't want us. That's fine. Well, no, I'll be on today, but, um, I will not be on tomorrow cause I'm on today. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know if he's full tomorrow or not. Yeah. Well, find soon? out. Yeah. I'll ask him. I know. We'll see what's going on. I will ask him. All right. I mean, I'm only where I want to be when I'm wanted. <laughs> so. All right. Cool. Have a great day. Thanks, Pete. Thanks, Pete. See, I repeated. Yes. And right. Rich and Anthem and everybody else who popped in today. And uh, enjoy. We'll see you guys soon. All right. I'll see you. Bye.